Hi, Jessica. It's Hoover4000, Melissa. Um, I saw your latest video and I wanted to make a video response. And this is the first time I've ever made a video response to somebody. Uh, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry that you had a bad day. And, um, like you were talking about how, uh, about your mother and stuff. I seriously don't know what I do. I don't know what I will do when my mother dies. My mom is 55 as well. And she's had a lot of health problems over the years, mainly since I've been born. And that makes me feel even worse because when she had me, her bones separated too far, and she got put in a wheelchair. She ended up walking again, which is really good, but ever since then, she's had a slip disc and arthritis in her hips and I don't know, like all this stuff. And um, you know, she works. Like, I've never seen anybody work that hard in my life. And she works so hard, and I keep telling her she needs to slow down a little bit. But she won't listen to me. And she's so tired all the time. And I just keep getting afraid that one day she'll just wear herself out just go to sleep and not wake up and she's really besides God of course she's really the only one I have and I don't even want to think about what I would do if you know so I really sympathize with you there my mom, like I said in the comment, my mom lost her mom as well to a kidney failure. Um, my mom was like in her 30s. It was before I was born. My brother was pretty little. But my mom gets upset about it and the sad thing is about it though is that they never really got a chance to talk about a lot of stuff that needed to be said and of course they can talk about that stuff when you know my mom gets to heaven but um anyway I just thought I'd let you um I just thought I'd make a video response for you I'm doing it in the bathroom because it's better lighting whenever I do it in my room I feel like the video is always so dark and it gets annoying. Of course now you can see how bad I look. But anyway, I had to do a video for you because you seem really depressed. And just know that you're not alone. And you're a really sweet woman and people love you. And of course God loves you and like I said in the comment, when you cry he cries. And, you know, I'm sure you'll be okay. But, you know, I have days like that too. So, just know there's someone out there thinking about you. And, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I wanted to sing you a song to kind of encourage you. But I'm not that great of a singer. But oh well, I'll do it anyway. <clears throat> Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you'll get by. If you smile in your fears and sorrows, 
smile and maybe tomorrow you will see the sun come shining through if you just light up your face with gladness hide every trace of sadness although a tear may be ever so near that's the time you must keep on trying smile what's the use of crying you'll find that life is still worthwhile if you just smile yeah not exactly more I carry there but anyway it's the top that counts right okay Bye, Jessica. I hope you have a better day tomorrow and a good Valentine's Day. And, um, I love you. Okay, bye. Hi, it's me again. I was going to post this, but I really feel it on my heart. I feel good laying it on my heart to pray for you first. So, I'm going to do that. And this is a little new for me, honestly, because usually I don't pray out loud. So I'm ashamed to. I usually, you know, I just, usually I'm not in situations to pray for someone out loud, so. But I felt God tell me to do it, so. Dear God, I don't know what Jessica's going through. I'm not going to pretend to know. But from what, what she says, her body is filled with pain. And maybe at times she feels alone. And I know how that feels. Lord, I ask you to wrap her in your arms. And to remind her always that she is never alone. And that when she cries, you cry. Every tear that falls down her cheek falls down your cheek. And that you care. Please show this sweet lady the, your mercy. Dear Lord, please have your way. Give her peace. And let her be given the kindness that she shows to others. Just have your way. Walk with her always. And if she's too weak to walk, carry her. In your holy name I pray. Amen.